So Nintendo's squeaky clean release slate for the rest of 2020 got a bit of a mark on it this week, with the news that Pikmin 3 Deluxe will be headed to Switch on October 30th. Being a deluxe version, there's some added bells and whistles, and Nintendo are of course charging full price for it. But despite being an older game, it's definitely not one you should overlook. Hi guys, welcome to Nintendo Village, my name's Phil, thank you very much for joining us. In this video, I'm going to explain why you should definitely consider picking up Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I hope you enjoy it, and if you get to the end and you did, do consider subscribing to stay up to date with our weekly uploads. And if you're already subscribed, thanks again as always for your continued support. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you're unfamiliar with Pikmin, the basic premise of all three games is pretty much the same. You take control of interstellar travellers, enlist the help of plant, bug, vegetable people, throw them at flowers and enemies to make more of them, and utilise their various skills to get around the place and retrieve ship parts and or food to take home with you. It's an incredibly fun series and a relatively unique take on the strategy genre, one that's garnered plenty of critical praise over the years. Despite that praise though, it's never been one of Nintendo's biggest sellers. The original game is still the best selling in the series, with 1.6 million units shifted. That's followed by the 1.26 million units of the original release of Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, and the 1.12 million copies sold of the GameCube's follow-up Pikmin 2. So every game has managed to break the million mark, with the exception of Hey Pikmin, but we don't really talk about that one. And yet it's still not considered one of Nintendo's best franchises. This is a bit weird to me because I've only ever come across two types of player when it comes to Pikmin. Either they haven't played it, or they absolutely love it. I am unquestionably in the latter camp and was kind of smitten with the series before the first game even launched. The series origin story of Shigeru Miyamoto watching ants carry things around his garden is one of my favourites in gaming, and that first game on the GameCube was a wonderful experience. Where the second game improved on that one though, Pikmin 3 is undoubtedly the high point of the series. Thankfully, if you haven't played the first two games, you'll still be able to jump straight into this without getting lost. The story stands on its own. But where Pikmin 3 truly excelled was in its level and puzzle design. Switching between characters was first introduced in Pikmin 2, but with a third explorer to control this time around, it allows for some fantastic puzzles that require careful divvying up of your squad to get around. As is always the case with Pikmin, the presentation is consistently excellent, the writing is brilliant, and there's both genuinely funny and sincerely heartwarming moments throughout the game. I honestly believe Pikmin has all the ingredients to be a top tier franchise for Nintendo, people just need to give it a chance. Pikmin 3 also benefited from the introduction of pointer controls a little after release, and I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who will tell you that that is the only way to play. I've no doubt that Nintendo will incorporate those controls on the Switch version using the Joy-Cons motion functionality, but to be honest, I played the game again for this video and picking up the gamepad again it was still pretty intuitive after only a couple of minutes. Although that thing does feel weirdly light and flimsy after three years with the Switch. So if you're a little bit concerned that the game may be too difficult to wrap your head around or too difficult to control, you needn't worry. Now, the one thing people are complaining about is the price tag, and I can kind of understand why. I refrain from double dipping on Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, despite the fact it's one of the best platformers of the last two generations period, precisely because Nintendo were charging full whack for a straight port of a five-year-old game whose only upgrade was an easy mode. At least with Pikmin, we're getting a little more to sweeten the deal this time around. Prologue and epilogue missions to flesh out that endearing story represent a decent amount of added value, and the fact that the oft-overlooked DLC from the Wii U version of the game is included also makes it a more attractive proposition. But I think the most enticing detail here is the co-op mode. The Switch is, as we all know, an ideal co-op machine, and Pikmin 3, with its requirements to split your squad up to explore, solve puzzles, and find everything the game has to offer, will be an absolute joy in two-player mode. I seriously can't wait to play through that game in co-op. It's funny because when this announcement dropped, I was glad Nintendo were porting it and saving another game from the graveyard that is the Wii U, but I didn't really think that I was going to pick it up. But having played around an hour again for this video, I can't wait. Like I didn't realise just how much I'd missed playing Pikmin. And if there's anyone from Nintendo watching this, where on earth is Pikmin 4? Pikmin is arguably one of Nintendo's most charming franchises, and you genuinely get incredibly attached to those weird plant people things. They throw themselves in harm's way for you, 
rely on you entirely for their well-being, and you come to mourn every single one that falls in battle. Running around as the day closes in, trying to find that one Pikmin who's been left alone somewhere, makes you feel like a parent who's lost their toddler in a supermarket. I imagine. I don't actually have any kids. Playing Pikmin in the past, I've gotten just as attached to that little army as I have to any Pokemon I've ever trained. It's full of as much personality as Luigi's Mansion, and when it's at its best, it is one of Nintendo's most inventive franchises. And Pikmin 3 is Pikmin at its best. Anyway, that's what I think about Pikmin 3. I genuinely think you should give it a shot, and if you do, I am sure you will absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments if I've managed to twist your arm, and let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's tons more here on Nintendo Village for you to enjoy, you can go and check some of those out. And if you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing too to stay up to date with our weekly uploads. Don't forget to check out thenintendovillage.com for more Nintendo news, reviews, features, podcasts, and all that cool stuff. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you all next time.